This dude does not want to let go. Ow. All right, all right, all right. I've had enough. I've had enough. I'm sorry. No more. I already know what's under this. Today we're flipping rocks in the hill country of central Texas, looking for snakes, maybe some lizards, and definitely some invertebrates as well. Maybe giant centipedes, tarantulas, that's a collared lizard. Holy shit. Oh my God. No freaking way. No freaking way. Yes. This is exactly the lizard I was hoping to see when I said we might find some lizards here. I'm like, I don't know, four rocks in or something. Guess what? Just got my lifer, eastern collared lizard. I believe these are easterns, almost positive, here in central Texas. Look at the mouth on that guy. What's really cool about these, yes, they eat, you know, bugs like a lot of other lizards do, but they also eat other lizards. They will literally grab them by the spine and pretty much immobilize them by breaking their spine or parts of their bone and then swallowing them whole with that giant gaping mouth. Look at that thing. It's like a bottomless pit right there. Such cool wizards. With the amount of color on this guy, very pretty. I would assume it is a male. Uh, males tend to be a lot prettier than females. And they have these gorgeous colors in some localities, um, especially in other states where these guys are native to, they can actually be completely like blue and orange and all kinds of crazy, crazy colors. Really, really cool looking lizard. I cannot believe how fast I got one. I knew that they were here in this area. Just wasn't sure if I'd actually see one, but like five rocks in and we already got one. It's pretty awesome. So cool. I'm gonna grab a couple pictures of this guy in habitat, let him on his way, but that is a lifer. Super, super neat. Oh, what, what in the world? All right, chill out, chill out. It's also about 65 degrees right now, so normally these guys are insanely quick. I think they might actually be the fastest lizard in the US, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe the top two uh, running like don't quote me on this, but like 15 miles an hour or something crazy for a lizard. Awesome. First find of the day. Oh. This dude does not want to let go. All right, all right, all right. I've had enough, I've had enough. I'm sorry, no more, no more. He is really biting into me right now. <laughs> Keeps going deeper every time I move. Okay, okay, I get it, I get the point. I get the point, you can, ah, you can let go. Holy crap. These things do not play around, look at that. All right, go in your hole, buddy. Come on, where's your hole? Ooh, big scorpion. Let me see if I can get this guy out for a minute. Ah, shit. Stung me. It got me right in the thumb. Ooh. It's a good sting. That was a good sized scorpion. Yeah. I had a feeling I'd get stung. <laughs> oh man. It's like a sharp, 
it's comparable to a bee sting. Luckily in here we have striped bark scorpions and they're not remotely as toxic as like the Arizona bark scorpions that you get over there. You want to make sure you put your rocks back too when you're flipping. Very important. Ooh, another. Oh, what kind of beetle is that? It's a really pretty beetle. Wow, look at him. It's gorgeous. Just found another beetle. Looks like it looks to be a different species, maybe same genus. Very pretty though. It's got some really cool fluorescent like reds and blues kind of. Maybe like a more of a purple. Very pretty though. Just under this rock right here. Curious to see what species these are. Looks also carnivorous. Let's get him back under his rock. There he goes. Where's the good rocks? Maybe this. Also something to note while we're looking for some better rocks. You do want to be very careful where you're putting your hands when you're lifting rocks like this. Um, I am almost positive there are Western Diamondback rattlesnakes here. So that is not at all something you want to get bit by. So you do want to be careful. However, um, I don't know, after a lot of flipping, I know which ones are going to be the, the, the kind of rocks I have to worry about. There's a cool little orange centipede. <clears throat> um, and it's not these flatter rocks. It's going to be the rocks that have a lot of space up under them, typically, where you might find like a rattlesnake. Now, for some reason, the audio didn't come through in this clip, but I found a really interesting beetle that you might like to take a closer look at. I believe this is a little species of warrior beetle because I have seen uh, documentation of them online here in Texas. And I believe they get a bit bigger than this too. You get some really cool blue outlines outside of the, on the outside of the shell here. Let me see if we can get a close look. You can see some of the blue there. Really cool little carnivorous beetles at that, preying on other invertebrates, bugs, arachnids potentially. So cool though. Just hanging out under this rock right here. But I'm gonna put him back, let him get back to what he was doing. Ooh, this looks interesting. Wow, nothing really. <gasps> no way. Oh my god, Polymorpha. This is Scolopendra Polymorpha right here. Or the tiger centipede. Oh my god. Oh, please stay still. Please stay still. I just want to see you for a second. No, no, no. There we go. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Please don't go anywhere and please don't bite me. I already took a bite today, or a sting from a scorpion. Here, just chill out. I need you to chill out a little bit. Let me bring him over here. Oh, shit. Whoa, whoa. Settle down there, buddy. Please don't bite me. All right, here's a tiger centipede, Scolopendra polymorpha. Oh, shit. These are actually some of our larger native centipedes in the U.S. Uh, this one's pretty small, but in some locales around the U.S., they can get quite a bit bigger. He's decent sized. You can see why they call them tiger centipedes, though, with those oh, black stripes there. This guy keeps falling. Luckily, they're very hardy and they can take a small fall as long as you're not too far from the ground. Really neat little arachnid, or not arachnids, but uh, centipedes. 
And these will be hunting little invertebrates, maybe smaller centipedes, crickets, grasshoppers, worms even potentially. They're so pretty though, and this is my first one I've seen in the wild. Let me see if I can get a close up of them. Come on. There we go. So neat. I'm curious what a bite would feel like from one of these. All right, I'm gonna put him back and we'll keep looking. <gasps> Tarantula, there we go. Damn it, he went into his hole. I don't know if you guys saw that, a little tiny tarantula. He went right in there. Hmm. I love them, they're that small, they're so cute. It's, it's always the rocks that you don't think are gonna have anything that have the best stuff under them. Oh my god. Not today. Whew. Definitely uh, something from the genus Campanotus. I don't know the exact species, but definitely a Carpenterant genus. How's it going? I already know what's under this. So I just flipped a ground snake. Look at that. No, 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 not getting away from me. Yes. That is awesome. This right here is a small ground snake. I have to look up exactly which species or subspecies it is, but either way, that is a lifer. That is a freaking lifer ground snake. Oh my God. I was starting to wonder if we'd ever see a snake today, to be honest. But look at that. Very, a lot of moisture under these rocks here. Maybe the moisture kind of drew them up from underground. Because typically they spend most of their time underground, hence the name ground snake. Nothing that really stands out about them color wise, but he's definitely a really, really interesting little fossorial, uh, diminutive colubrid you might call them look at that little face i cannot believe i finally got a ground snake i thought i'd get my first one in arizona during that little trip we also have a video on that but uh no i didn't see a ground snake there surprisingly those are though are variable ground snakes i don't believe these are variables i think they might be the common name might be like texas ground snake or um something something along those lines so neat. Such a cute, cute little snake, though. You see, he's got some burrows going on right here. I'm lucky he didn't uh, slip into one of those burrows when I first flipped it. Thankfully, it's a little cold out today. It's like 65 degrees, so the snakes are very sluggish. Got some interesting little white on his belly, too. I don't know if that's typical with these or if this guy's some kind of weird um, off-colored animal. I believe they eat like little earthworms, potentially little invertebrates, um, beetle larvae and things like that. I would not at all be surprised. Maybe ant larvae even. They're small, but they're not, they're a little heavier built than like rough earth snakes from what I can tell, for example. But still very, very tiny snake. So cute. Glad we got to see one. Man, I'm checking off lifers left and right today. We had the Eastern Collar Cortophytus collaris. We had the polymorpha, the skull pendra polymorpha, tiger centipede, and now we have this ground snake. Lifers for everybody today. Can't be mad about that, especially in mid-November. Come on now, it's almost Thanksgiving. Ooh, that's what we'll call this, the Thanksgiving vlog. I think we're on episode 68. No, maybe 70 now. I can't even keep track at this point. And just looking at the tail briefly, looks like it might be a male. You can see the end of his tail is missing there. He's probably got some age on him. So sweet. All right, let me grab a quick picture with him with some habitat. And then uh, 
getting back under his rock. So cool. One last look. Cool little black speckling I didn't even notice before. Now I'm seeing it on his uh, back there. So cool. All right, let's get this guy back under his rock. Ooh, that's definitely a tarantula burrow. Oh, look at these harvestmen right here. Many people call these daddy long legs. Oh shit. Oh damn, are they mating? Wow, that's cool. Really, really interesting little harvestmans here. Believe it or not, they are not spiders at all. They are arachnids, but um, I believe it's a separate family uh, of spiders, or a separate family from spiders, excuse me. Really similar looking though, look at this, look at that face. So, so strange. Man, I gotta say, I was gonna go to the gym today, I don't know if I am anymore. Cause this is like a really solid arm workout, to be honest. <laughs> Another oh, coward. I saw, I saw lizard poop on top of this rock. And I was like, watch there be another collared lizard under here. No way. Beautiful collared lizard. This might be a female actually. His shoes is lacking some color. Still a really cool like purple pink coloration, but oh, she is not happy. Got a little bit of chunk to her. I wonder if she could be holding eggs, maybe. I don't know if they would be this time of year though, because they're getting ready to go into hibernation, you know? Just got our second collared lizard here. Another Eastern collared lizard, Cardophytus collaris. This one might be female. She does not have nearly as much color. Still beautiful. And possibly even pissier than the first one. <laughs> Super cool. I saw some lizard poop on top of this rock and I was like, watch there be a lizard under this. Sure enough, it was. And I think we got it on a video on the GoPro. So that's super cool. But she's not exactly thrilled as she was hiding out under her rock. The sun has finally come out today, so <clears throat> maybe we'll get a couple snakes even on the way out. Who knows? Probably stay another eh, 30 minutes or so. We'll see how things go. But this is a good sign right after that ground snake. So how sweet. All right. We already got one of these, so I'm going to quick get a quick picture, let her back under a rock, and keep walking around lifting some stuff. See you later, girl. I'm sorry. She's about to bite my boot. She is, she is not playing around. I just want to get you back under your rock. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna scoot her back in there, hopefully without getting bit. Then we're gonna keep walking. Big scorpion too.
Look at this girl. All right, we got warrior beetle number two. I need to double check and make sure these are warriors, but this one's a bit bigger. You can get an idea of just how big these carnivorous beetles can get. Very good size. And you can see with those giant jaws there, how one might be able to take down like a smaller bug of some sort. <laughs> Maybe a caterpillar or something like that. Smaller beetles, who knows? I'm sure they're capable of some serious power with those mandibles. <laughs> so cool, he was just hanging out under this big old rock here. Got another tiger centipede, number two. Oh, come here. Oh! A little bit bigger than the last one. Another skull pendra polymorpha. All right. Back under your rock. Awesome. Back in the car now. Um, hopefully get a decent uh, angle. Trying to get more consistent with this like kind of vlog style video and you know, make it in a way that kind of makes you guys hopefully feel like you're here herping with me, uh, looking for animals. So <sighs> just got back in the car. The terrain here is rough. Um, I feel like I just went five rounds with the habitat here. I mean, it's, it's pretty rough. <laughs> uh, I have like bruises and stings and spikes all over my hands and it's fun it's a good time you know granted a lot of it's from getting bit by lizards um which i kind of brought upon myself to be honest but mm. so i'm just appreciative that i can still get herbs here uh really cool lizards probably honestly my favorite lizard in the u.s cortophytus the whole genus cortophytus collared lizards are some of the coolest lizards around in my opinion in the world honestly but definitely my favorite in the US. They're just insanely fast athletic lizards that prey on other lizards. I mean, that's pretty, pretty badass if you ask me, but <clears throat> getting off on a tangent now. So let's go get food and a drink. May, may get me a little like holiday coffee or something. Sounds really, really freaking good right now, but let's get out of here. Hey, thank you for choosing Duncan. I may help you. Can I get a small Frozen uh, cookie butter coffee, please. And uh, hang on just a second. You said a frozen? Yes. Thank you. Oh, oh. Give me your card and we wait. Okay. Appreciate it. Oh my God. Frozen cookie butter coffee. Amazing. Immaculate. <clears throat> That's gonna be it for today, uh, Saturday at least. Tomorrow's Sunday, I may try and get out again, but uh, I actually had a great time. And I mean, I always have a good time herping with you guys, but it was definitely an especially good day um, considering the time of year and the weather. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Wild Attractions Adventures. And I hope you enjoy this vlog series because uh, I'm going to try and stay as consistent as possible with this kind of vlog style. Uh, you know, bust the, Go the GoPro out once in a while. And I'll see you guys on the next Wild Attractions adventure. See ya.